So hi friends, I'm Mol Samsung here and welcome back to ARS Biologicals. So today I was passing through this road and I came across this bamboo trees and I saw they were cut down uh, by the native people maybe for some use and there were some holes uh, actually it's a part of bamboo uh, which has been left uh, the lower part which is usually left and only the upper part is taken away by the people and in that part uh, water rain water has filled up and i also saw some mosquito larvae so today i thought of checking that uh, water in microscope under the microscope so let's get started so friends uh, I have brought some things, uh, a pipette for collecting uh, forceps uh, for uh, increasing the length of this pipette so my hands don't get dirty and a plastic cup. So let's start collecting. So as you all can see over here, uh, these are the bamboos which have been cut down and this is the leftover part. And you can see that rainwater has accumulated in it, uh, and there are some mosquito larvae too. So this is a little bamboo biome, we can say. So friends, uh, I have a pipette, forcep, and a plastic cup. So if I collect a water sample. Uh, with this pipette only, uh, the pipette can reach to, uh, I think, to this level only because it is short. So, I have brought a forcep and to extend its length. So, I am going to put this forcep right over here and going to dip this pipette and I am going to squeeze it and okay some water has came so let me try it again okay only this little bit of water is coming okay let me leave it like this and here comes our water so again let me do this process is a little bit lengthy to collect water sample it's pretty cloudy okay so friends this is the water which i've collected so i'm going back to my home let's meet there so friends i have reached my home here is the sample here is my microscope so i'm also taking a microscope slide so cover slip so let me take the collected water and put it on the microscope slide only one drop of water and i'm going to take a microscope cover slip I'm going to put it without making air bubbles. So let's observe it under the microscope. So friends, this is what we've got. This is the first impression of that rainwater. So this is a mosquito larva. And you all can see the hemolymph which is a liquid which is like blood uh, it's only found in insect uh, as we animals vertebrate animals have blood in a similar manner insect have a liquid in their body which is known as hemolymph and it is used to carry oxygen carbon dioxide and other materials so you can see the organs also so 
so here are also some organisms and that is a paramecium and some algae so you can see it you can see the cilia also right now you can see the food vacuoles properly it is uh, making the water to flow so it's kind of beautiful so the organism is here and here is our mosquito larva again so friends are uh, observing this microscope so observing the specimen under the microscope so you all can see this is the larva and I thought of changing the water because I saw something greenish over this uh, collected specimen and I thought of taking that greenish uh, material I think that is algae growth and where algae is present organisms are present in abundance so I thought of collecting that greenish material yes so it is present here i'm taking another microscope slide i'm putting the water here and i'm putting the cover slip also so friends i have prepared another slide this one also i'm going to put under the microscope so friends this is a rotifer and we can say it is in action so it is pulling the water and other material in the environment with its cilia you can see that hair like projection which is causing the water to flow towards it that is known as cilia you can see the organs also of it you can see the materials or the items are being whirled or we can see it is being pulled towards it towards the rotifer it is swimming round and round you can see that structure uh, going round and round oh here comes another one so these creatures are pretty great to see you can also see the diatom so they are very slow movers it is moving but you have to observe it very carefully so they are very very slow movers so you can see how the mouth of a rotifer looks like so it's kind of spinning and you all can also see the algae oh here are some colonies great colonies of rotifer Is also one oh there are two I am very surprised that um, this rotifers have built a family in that stagnant water oh very very it's a very happy thing you can see the spirogyra algae also uh, that is in spirogyra algae uh, you can see the spiral patterns it's beautiful oh it's it is pretty big one They are pretty fast guys. 
सॉरी दे आर नॉट गाइस वो लेट मी टेल यू वन फैक्ट ऑफ दिस रोटीफर फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स द मेल्स हैव गॉन एक्सटिंक्ट थिंग विच यू हैव यू सींग इन द स्क्रीन आर ओनली फीमेल दो दिस रोटीफर्स आर लेडीज एक्चुअली so you must be thinking that uh, how they reproduce so they reproduce asexually by process known as pathogenesis so these all are lady lady microorganisms the males have gone extinct millions of years ago so friends you all can see the spiro or algae algae or algae you can pronounce it anything so friends this much for today see you in my next video till then bye bye keep learning